Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Editor11, on how we can change our camera settings for an anamorphic image. So I have a simple scene here. And now basically, the process for creating a 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio is generally that the images are going to be filmed on standard 35 millimeter film using an anamorphic lens. Then when it's projected onto a cinema screen using another anamorphic lens, it's seen at the aspect ratio of 2.35 to 1. So basically twice the size of a typical screen aspect ratio. So let's take a look at how we can preview this aspect ratio here in Maya. So the first thing we'll want to do is to select the camera that we're going to be rendering from. So in this case, uh, I'll just work with my perspective camera. So I'll select my camera. If we open up the attribute editor, and if we scroll down, we'll see our film aspect ratio here. Now there's a number of presets that we can uh, choose from, or we can come in and adjust the aspect ratio, say to something like 2.35. And in order to view this, you notice that our viewport changed, uh, we can turn on our film gate. So we can either use this icon here, or we can find that under view, uh, camera settings, and adjust to the film gate. Now if we needed to uh, come in and adjust things like our camera aperture or the lens squeeze ratio, we can also do that here in order to match our original film footage. But it's important to keep in mind uh, that the aspect ratio is going to be different than the image resolution. Now a typical resolution for working with film is like a 2K image. Or if we come into our render settings, we can set that uh, to 2048 by 1556, 1556, and that'll be a typical resolution to be rendered out. Uh, but if we do the math on that, we actually f find that that's a 4-3 ratio image. And usually that'll get cropped down in post-production. So if we wanted to preview the resolution, we can adjust our gate here in the camera settings to be our resolution gate. And we can see this will be what gets rendered out and then usually in post-production that'll be cropped down in order to match the original film footage that we're trying to uh, match it with. So in closing, it's always important to find out what our final output is going to be or what other settings we're trying to match so that we can know precisely uh, what settings that we need to use for our project. Let's a look at where we can go to adjust the film aspect ratio for our cameras.